back for a whole new year. It's Tony Rice, NASA ambassador in Raleigh. Let's look at this. Let's look at this video here real fast. This is from Mark Suddeth. He took this in Wrightsville Beach earlier in the week. And this is the SpaceX launch from Cape Canaveral, which was timed perfectly with that sunset. And you could just see it illuminating the sky. Uh, right now we're seeing the what we call the jellyfish effect. And this is so cool. We get to see all the characteristics of our atmosphere in these rocket launches. The reason that's starting to look like a jellyfish, or some people call it a Q-tip, is because that, that plume, that exhaust that's coming out of the rocket engine, it's up high enough now that it is in that thinner part of the atmosphere. So it really gets that opportunity to expand out. What you're seeing right here is, uh, is evidence of this is a, a Falcon 9 Heavy, which is basically three Falcon 9s bolted together uh, to give that extra delta V that needs uh, it is necessary to push this larger uh, satellite up into orbit. You know those those three um, Falcon nines uh, boosters booster segments they landed and they're going to reuse them. The center one landed out in the ocean, um, about thirty miles out uh, off the the coast of Florida. The other two returned back to the the launch site. So there's a couple of giant concrete pads out there at Cape Canaveral and, and back there on their own. They'll refurbish them and. And, and stick them back out there. But let's talk about why this is visible. It's mostly about timing to be able to see something launching from the Cape down in Florida or up at uh, Walp's flight facility in Virginia. Um, obviously, both of those launch sites are below the horizon. We all know that the Earth is round. We're not going to debate that on this show, I hope. Uh, but uh, so, you know, the, the horizons... You know, uh, uh, even if you're, you know, 10, 15 miles away from that launch site, it's still, you know, over the horizon where that launch pad is. Uh, the reason we can see it is because that rocket is obviously getting up to its apex height, you know, pretty high in the, in the uh, atmosphere. We're able to see that, but it takes more than just proximity. It takes timing. Any launch from either one of those sites is going to be happening during the day. We're probably not going to be able to see. That's just not going to happen. Now, why we saw this one is because it occurred around sunset. So those that are happening in the hour or so after sunset, or the ones that are really great are the ones that are in the hour before sunrise. We've got that sun to help us out here. It's nice and dark down here on the ground. Up there in the upper atmosphere, that's where the sun is still shining. So it really highlights those uh, rocket trails. The reason the morning, the, the pre-dawn, um, launches are so spectacular is those trails are backlit and we often see iridescent clouds coming out of that you know, really uh, beautiful rainbow colors within those um within those trails i think back to um i believe it was sts i want to say it was 132 uh one of the the final couple of uh rocket launches shuttle launches down at the cape and i had my family down there and we woke everybody up at three four in the morning um, headed down to the Cape and, and, and found our seats and were watching the launch. As the family sleepily, you know, heading back to the car, they just want to get back to the hotel and go back to bed. I'm snapping pictures away in the parking lot because the the sea breezes are starting to come in and it's twisting that that plume around and creating what looked like a fire-breathing dragon. I'll have to find some pictures and, and send it to you. But that you know, that's amazing. why those pre-dawn launches are so, so cool. So whenever you see a launch from... <laughs> Um, coming up in Wallops or coming up in um, down at the Cape. If it's happening somewhere after sunset or before sunrise, those are the ones to look for.